and Wreck TV. I was running around celebrating. Remember, I was like, yeah, yeah. finally. Oh. I can sell it now. That's and and shit. it means Cam and Mace can have it and Jay-Z about it. Peace, worlds, and Wreck for M Wreck TV. We got an interesting clip right here. Dame Dash celebrating and finally getting his revenge on Jay-Z by selling his Rockefeller shares to Mason Cameron, Jay-Z former ops. Hit that like, hit that bell, hit the subscribe, watch this clip, and let's vibe. It yeah. says the bylaws is bull. and Dame said no, and you can't tell that man he can't sell his personal property. It wasn't one of the lawyers trying to argue. They said that they, they were like, because they didn't want nobody in our personal business. They were, the judge was like, get that shit out of here. So I was like, Cel you, you could ask Abe, I was running around celebrating. Remember, I was like, yeah, yeah. finally. And everybody hit me like, yo, you all right? You remember, I, nobody yeah, I remember you running, you running, I was like, and I read it and I was like, oh, I said, what that mean? You're like, that's what that mean right now. I was like, oh. I, I can sell it now. And, and shit. it means Cam and Mace can have it and Jay-Z can't about it. Dude. Big sale. No what? <laughs> <laughs> I personally made sure as the CEO that I carved out the reasonable doubt piece when we sold Rockefeller LLC and put it under Rockefeller Inc. It was all very strategic. It was all very strategic to say, yo, I'm not going to court with my homeboys, but I'll let this little rat go ahead and go mm -hmm. chase that money and mm -hmm. do all the work for me. Cause he definitely did about a million dollars worth of work to get to the, a point where the judge was like, yo, these bylaws are shit and that man should be able to sell it at a public auction, court order. No one could stop it. What up, but you know, it's funny how people aren't that bright or, you know, I, I, I don't expect people to be so smart, but when people are calling me like, oh, that's messed up. I'm like, wasn't I trying to do a public auction in the first place? You think I was only trying to make 800 grand? I'm trying to make 8 million, 10 million, mm -hmm. 20 million. Jay himself said it's worth 10 million. It so is. that would mean- I think it's more. Yeah, so that would mean he gets his eight, I get to keep nine. But it's gonna be auctioned if I don't, if let's say I don't, let's say, you know, it didn't go, if, if, if the sale didn't happen, you know, I could auction it, advertise it, goes to the highest bidder. If you wanna be Jay's boss, if you want to be the CEO of Rockefeller Inc., <laughs> if you want to call the board meetings and they got to come through and make decisions, you know, you might, it, it could go to the highest bidder. And you saw what they said, they like, yo, we got, we'll probably sell it. Yeah, it, it, I mean, listen, because it's a, it's a pinnacle. Of so I'm not saying I did, I'm not saying I did it, allegedly, but stay tuned. You know, and, and at the end of the day, of course it's going to be fun. You know, it's, it's what too funny. It what, what makes it the fun? Because uh, it's the, Cam and, and Mace. And, and, and <laughs> you know, again, it, 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 not to be on the... So if they don't want me to go and get my money, then, yo, y'all could deal with Cam and Mace. Fuck it. Or whoever else buys it. But I, I, I think it would be more fun with you cats I grew up with. Yeah, they're going to give them a harder time, I, I believe. No, you trust me. They're making... <laughs> they're mar you know, we've been talking, so they have great marketing. But I like the direction that they're talking about going mm -hmm. with that asset. They're really talking about taking control, you know, making sure it gets monetized. Because they can't... You have a, what's called a fiduciary obligation to, what's in, to do what's in the best interest of that asset, mm -hmm. of the product. Not You can't, like, personally say, because I'm mad at you, 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 we can't make no money off it. That's illegal. So they can't stop Cam and Mace from monetizing it unless they got a real good reason. But right now, you know, if it needs to make more money and they come with an opportunity and, and they can't say no, you can't block it for personal reasons. You, you got to make money. And I like what Cam and them are doing. I, I like the business mind and I like where they're going. Mace has really evolved. You know, they, you know, it's like having this kind of conversation 30 years later <laughs> and being, they got their own show, I'm on my own network, you know what I mean? And us all being in a position of power Boss, yeah. and, and never, like, I can't really tease them about playing themselves mm -hmm. to get where they had to go, where a lot of niggas I could, yeah. most. So when I get in front of a, you know, I ain't gonna say no names right now because I'm not on that, what? but I could tease, like, you got there, but you had to do this. 
you had to sell that one out. They didn't do that. None of us did. But I did it the Rip, wrong way. We all them niggas. We stood strong. 30 years later. Now let's go to this Cameron and Mace clip speaking on buying a Rockefeller shares, allegedly. <laughs> when they found out that we uh, was acquiring, or uh, pardon me, allegedly, allegedly. The, <laughs> hypothetically acquiring <laughs> yeah. Dame Third, a, a, a Rockefeller, the Reasonable Doubt album, when they found out about it, their third party called out, and they was like, let me get that. And I'm like, yeah, because this is, I'll put it like this, this is this is two heavyweights battling, two big heavyweights battling. Hit a nigga with a bomb, another nigga hit another nigga with a bomb. I think the same person nigga, called this, me. This, 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 <laughs> another nigga hit him with a bomb, then a nigga did some business shit and, and kind of put him under the wing on some business shit. So now the nigga he put under wing years ago on some business shit is like, I need that. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to be in the middle of all that, but it's definitely interesting. Alright, we the Knockout Kings of Comedy. This your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Troncho, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. You know, I know me old f***ing fuck with lambskin condoms. <laughs> Wrong with you? Oldies, you should eat this. We don't know what the that meat is. No. For real, I heard a nigga get in prison. That's not the the part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my ain't no point of both of us get. I step up, look him right in his eyes. He go to pat me down. $20, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> no, sir! First of all, can I ask y'all a personal question? Is this microphone really necessary at this point? And Wreck TV.